Hi, I'm Rob, one of the metallurgists here at Apollo, and we're here with the Metallurgy Minute. Today we're going to talk about something that nobody really likes, quench cracking. But if we understand the causes behind quench cracking, we can take steps to mitigate the chances of it happening. So why do things actually quench crack? Well, when we look at steels and we look at tools, when we quench them and harden them, they expand. But it's temperature dependent. During the quench, around 400 degrees Fahrenheit, give or take, because it is material dependent, the outside of the material gets there first and it will harden and lock into place. Then when the core gets to those temperatures, it will, it will harden and expand. There's part into a balloon. And here's kind of an example. Here's a block of steel that's been processed thousands of times, and you can see it's turning into a balloon. So the easiest thing to do is you're looking at your tool, envision it as a balloon. Balloons don't like sharp things. So if you have sharp corners, keyways, small radii, all those things can increase the stress. And as soon as the core hardens and expands and that stress gets over 350,000 PSI, bad things happen. So give us a call. We'll work together. We'll help reduce those chances of something bad happening. I'm Rob, and this was the Metallurgy Minute.